now these antibodies through the circulation eventually reach where was our bacteria from the lymphoid system they will come into blood and antibodies reach over here and these antibodies you will come to know let's suppose this is bacteria this is the antigen antibody will react with the antigen and then antibody will become active as you put the bone in the mouth of a dog it moves the tail in the same way antibody as soon as it react with the antigen its tail become active and this activated tail can activate certain molecules called complement and later on you will learn these activated complement will kill the bacteria these activated complement will kill the bacteria these complements are normally present in your blood liver produces this complement molecule why we call them complement molecules because they complement the immune system that's so simple right now complement protein the present in your blood right when antibody fix on bacteria right then antibody tail has an area which can activate the complement and complements are activated at the surface of the bacteria and complements later on in lectures you will learn that activated complement produce the holes in the bacteria and bacteria dies that's a very ruthless way to kill bacteria or complement can do one more thing this is a bacteria here was star antigen and sorry this is the what will come here antibody antibody become active activated antibodies have receptors on the neutrophils and macrophage so some neutrophil may come over here and on the neutrophil surface this is a receptor for this is a neutrophil neutrophil have a receptor for the activated antibody so antibody on one side is holding the bacteria other side it is sticking to the neutrophil now if neutrophil try to engulf the bacteria can bacteria escape no it's a very bad way to kill someone first you tie him so that it cannot escape then you beat him <laughs> this is what neutrophil is antibody is doing on antibody on one side hold the bacteria on other side it hold the neutrophil or macrophage and then bacteria has, has no way to escape it will be caught by the antibodies so in this way uh, caught by the phagocytic cell in this way antibodies facilitate the phagocytosis when antibodies were not there in the beginning of the lecture antibodies were not there neutrophils and macrophages were eating the bacteria slowly but when antibodies are there neutrophils and macrophage eat the antibodies very very eat the bacteria very very rapidly it's just like that this antibody is acting as a jam on the bacteria and then neutrophils and macrophages love to eat it it become more tasty is that clear such molecules which facilitate the phagocytosis of bacteria or other particulate matter such molecules are called opsonins what are they called opsonin what is opsonin a molecule which enhances the phagocytosis of particular matter is that right so what we see that antibodies are produced antibody react with the bacterial antigens and either by activating the complement kill the bacteria or lead to very efficient phagocytosis of the bacteria by the neutrophils and macrophage is that right any problem up to this now let us recap the lecture very rapidly right okay there's a diagram you like to look to me or to diagram you want my i should explain or i should explain on the board last revision on the board you want on the board you i explain <laughs> yes board board okay i think uh, you are the final person yes she just laugh it off yes <laughs> yes 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 on the board okay let's suppose bacteria came now you have to tell me along with me bacteria came taken up by macrophage and by neutrophil neutrophil release free antigens and macrophage take up the antigen and process the antigen with Mixed. class 2 molecule antigens process with the class 2 molecule that presented to the appropriate t cell antigen react with tcr class 2 react with cd4 both of them activate cd3 and signal to the nucleus then the additional stimulations like interleukin 1 and its receptor b7 and cd28 and all these stimulations converge on the nucleus and activate the genes which are concerned with synthesis and release of interleukin 
2 plus the genes which are concerned with the synthesis of interleukin 2 receptors. So, selected T helper cells, now this is T helper 2 cell, right, it starts secreting interleukin 2 and interleukin 2 act on the same cell and interleukin 2 receptors, once they are stimulated, they lead to stimulation of mitotic process in selected T cells. Selected T cells undergo clonal expansion and eventually all these selected clonally expanded T helper cells will help the B cell to multiply and to differentiate into plasma cell. For this purpose, these selected and expanded clone of T cell will produce B cell growth factor which is called interleukin 4 and B cell differentiation factors which are called interleukin 5. Of, of course, if there was no clonal expansion, one cell cannot produce enough interleukin 4 and 5. That is why there was clonal expansion. Meanwhile, free antigen will if sooner or later find one B cell which has such BCR which could recognize the or react with the free antigen. That particular B cell will be selected by the antigen, free antigen. That B cell will express the receptors for interleukin 4 and under the influence of interleukin 4 which is coming from the T helper cell, that special B cell will have undergo clonal expansion. Clonally expanded B cell express the receptors for interleukin 5 and then these receptors are stimulated by interleukin 5 which is being produced by clonally expanded T helper cells and the, under the influence of interleukin 5, these clonally expanded B cell convert into plasma cells. Plasma cells are very very active cells and they do lot of antibody synthesis and every second every plasma cell is releasing thousands of the molecules of antibodies. Antibodies come from the lymphoid tissue into general circulation eventually reach to the site where the bacteria is there. Bacteria along with their antigens are coated by the antibodies. Antibodies activate the complement on the surface and complement mediated death of the bacteria occur. Or antibody bind with the bacteria if no complement is around, antibodies tails are moving, they are activated and activated tails are caught by neutrophil and macrophage and of course bacteria is captured and it is efficiently phagocytosed. In this way, after the antibodies arrival on the bacteria, either bacteria are very ruthlessly killed by the complement activation or they are very cleverly phagocytosed by the neutrophils and macrophages. That was an introduction to lymphoid system. Thank you.